Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Vangelis, and I'm going to take a look at an Airborne Combiner Wars Combaticon. In fact, I'm going to take a look at both of the Airborne Combiner Wars Combaticons. Blastoff and Vortex are straight repaints of Aerial Bot Deluxes from earlier in the line, and with no retooling to speak of, I feel like these guys are review subjects we'd all rather just blitz through. Am I wrong? Am I? Oh, I am. Well, the video's already been made, so it's too late to do anything about it. Elephant in the room! Blastoff is a jet now! I'm fine with that. His colors are dead friggin' spot on, and I don't mind him assuming a vaguely less conspicuous alt mode. Speaking directly to his alt mode, my only problem with it is that it looks kinda boring. It's the Firefly slash Quickslinger jet mold, and while its colors are 100% Blastoff, its paintwork is like 90% Quickslinger. The edges of the tail fin and wings have got an extra dark stripe, but the actual wing detailing is almost literally Quickslingers, in new colors and with a Decepticon insignia. Moving on to Vortex, guess what? He's a helicopter! A very familiar looking helicopter, I'm sure. Alpha Bravo and Blades have a new mold sibling. In fact, this was the prediction many of us had the moment we laid eyes on that newfangled heli aerial bot back in Wave 1. Vortex's colors are G1 Toy Vortex, but his paint deco, those stripes, those windows, 100% Alpha Bravo. The only fresh stuff is like the missile paint spreads down a bit further and the center of the rotor is green. It's not bad, just kind of dull. Combaticon Air Squadron, transform! Okay, blast off robot time. His colors are beefed up with a big swack of G1 Toyetic purple, with the bonus of his combiner peg being color matched to give the appearance of a solid chest plate. Downside is his paint apps are still, for the most part, quick slingers, and worst of all, so is his head. If this guy had gotten Firefly's head, I think the illusion would have totally worked, but now, no faceplate just kills it. I mean, he has a faceplate paint app, but it looks like he's going through a life phase and decided to shave his head and chin. Also, the brown plastic between his legs and torso makes it look like he's wearing little chocolate shorts. By the way, while clean-shaven Blastoff's accessories are just Fireflies and Quickslingers, his flamethrower has got an extra coat of dark gunmetal paint, just like his fists and... mouth. Now, despite being a straight redeco as well, Vortex carries it so much more effectively than his aerial teammate. Most of this comes from his chest, which has a hardcore G1 Toyetic combination of purple, yellow, and red. It's a small thing, yet it is so very key. What's less key are Vortex's hips, which, much like Blastoff's, look like a weird little pair of shorts. His head is badass, though, looking like the destined role for that sculpt all along, with its blazing red visor surrounded by on-topic turquoise. I feel like he and Alpha Bravo pull off being two characters from the exact same mold pretty well. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it could have been. Unfortunately, there's no fresh paint on Vortex's accessories, but Alpha Bravo's pile of gatling death totally fits the Combaticon Interrogator. The big thing about these two guys is that when their legs on a fully Combaticon Bruticus, they look kinda lean, especially with Swindle and Brawl up top. It's not bad, just not quite right in this color palette. So let's move them up to where they belong. Vortex is sadly unable to pull off the whole unfurled propeller spins as a shield thing, but he looks fine. And Blastoff, as a jet, in these colors, looks fine. The shapes totally work for me. Like the nose cone jutting up, is so much of a throwback to the shuttle nose cone jutting up, this makes a pretty good case for the toy, especially since the head is no longer visible. Blastoff came so very close. I can respect that for many he's a shuttle and that's that. This toy ain't for you. But I genuinely feel like this whole jet plane thing could have worked. The colors are great. The alt mode swap is logical. He still works as a Bruticus arm. It's just the wrong head sculpt. And that is totally fixable, sure. It can be solved. But at that point, once you're buying add-on stuff, it certainly draws close to the line that makes one wonder if they should just look to the Unite Warriors gift set. However, that thing is cartoon colors, and guys like Vortex, his Combiner Wars deco is a lovely throwback to the G1 toy. 
Is he Alpha Bravo in new colors? Absolutely! Or maybe it's the other way around, who knows? But this is a workable and survivable take on the character. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and those were the airborne Combaticons. Fresher toolings imminently await, but I may return to at least one of these guys down the road if I ever pick up a spare face-plated head. Or, you know, steal all of Blastoff's razors.